Hey everyone, this is Jonathan Holly, uh, the janitor from Webbridge Middle School. Um, well, it used to be there. First off, man, I was just want to tell everyone. I thank everyone for all the support online, on Facebook, on every all the social sites that it was on. I thank everyone for the support. Uh, I just want to start off by saying that a lot of people had a question. I didn't get fired. I was forced to resign. Again, I did not get fired. I was forced to resign. And why I was forced to resign was not because of that video. That video led up to what they was trying to do from the beginning. Um, and what that was trying to get me out the door for their own personal reasons. Um, you know, it was wrong how they did it. You know, I, I was thinking that being that I was going to resign, that I was be able to, you know, get back into the system. But that didn't happen. You know, I was tricked. And when I tried to get back into the system, it, my, my application kept being denied. Wasn't getting any interviews. I called to HR, spoke with the director, Northside. And she told me, her name was Patty. She told me straight like this, you know, you no longer can um, be an employee of Fulton County. How is that? So I resigned. I didn't, you, I didn't get terminated. I resigned, right? I'm supposed to be able to get back, right? Didn't happen. So again, that was unfair. You know, in the meeting, that last meeting that I had, when they did what they did, you know, they showed me pictures on copy of paper, some pictures that they took that I've never seen before, saying, you know, this, this, this writing, this, this little graffiti that was on the back, some pencil graffiti that was on the back of a bathroom door, you know, and, and a picture of a toilet bowl with tissue and stuff inside of it. Took a picture of two pictures, two pictures. And that's what they showed me, and it, that was the reason they backing on firing me, trying to get me out the door. That was their reason. They, that was the last straw, as they, as they say, which was a bunch of nonsense, bunch of nonsense. And at the time, Ms. Offman wasn't at the school because she, she had fell and, and broke her leg or broke whatever she broke and was out for a while. But the principal, that they, the substitute principal came in from a different, whole different county and automatically started attacking me. You see what I'm saying? I'm looking for things. Doing the same thing Miss Offman used to do, you know. And I believe deep down inside that she had to know that something. Miss Offman had to have been talking to her and letting her know, like, listen, you need to be looking for this, looking for that. Because they were trying to get me out the door. Point blank, period. I did no wrong whatsoever. This lady picked on me for no apparent reason. You know, I always passed all my inspections. I always passed all my evaluations. I made sure the building was clean. I made sure my staff was cleaning the building the way they're supposed to clean. I had a schedule, you know. No one else is complaining about the building. Nobody. She was fine with the building how it was. But all of a sudden, because I wasn't letting her to control me, it became a problem. You know, I'm not a yes, 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 yes person all the time. I'm not going to agree to you all the time. I'm going to have an opinion on things. I'm going to voice my opinion. If it's wrong, if I feel like if it's wrong, I'm a, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I, can, I can talk for myself. I, can, I, can, I have an opinion. You can't stop me from having that. But what she'll say is when I have my opinion, oh, you, I don't, you give me pushback. You pushing back. That's not, being, that's not pushing back. That's having an opinion on things. You can't always be right. I don't care what position you're in. You cannot always be right, period. And that's what she wanted. She wanted full control over me. Micromanaging my department, having other people coming in, trying to look for stuff, all that stuff, bunch of nonsense. I mean, we had a radio that we had to carry all the time. And, I mean, you should hear some of the stories of how she talked to me over that radio. You know, she didn't care who heard what was going on over that radio. Jonathan, come in. Jonathan, you need to come in my office. Just down the third. Da 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 Just talking to me all crazy. And, and people would come to me and say, why is she talking to you like that over the radio? That's disrespectful. But nobody was doing nothing about it. <laughs> it's like an everyday thing. And, to, and like, again, <laughs> it's messed up. And another thing, you know, before all this even began, a lady came to me, a teacher, came to me and told me, listen, I heard you wasn't going to be here next year. Mind you, none of this stuff was even taking place. How you know that? How you know I'm not going to be here next year? Of course, she wasn't going to tell me her source, but how you know that? How, who told you that? So I believe that this was pre-planned or premeditated to get me out the door. And what I also believe is that 
you know, she always talked about her budget. I was making top dollar, you know, $21 an hour. Top dollar for me, you know. They kept talking about the budget, the budget this, the budget that. Come to find out, they hired someone, an older person, okay, no experience in supervisor position at all. Just a regular student, straight to the three position. Never heard of. But in order to do that, that was for them to save money. You know, he's going to work from the first year salary or the first, first pay scale. And that was way, way lower than what I was making. And that's just not fair. You know, if that was your, uh, if all you had to do was transfer me out to school, send me somewhere else, if that was your plan all along, period. I didn't do no wrong. Everybody loved me in that school. Teachers loved me. Kids loved me. You know, I used to get, even, even with y'all, with the administration, some of them, you know, I was getting uh, uh, comp. you know, they had these balls that they used to give out, you know, to, to appreciate you, you know, like, you know, like you, like you some type of MVP of the school, these balls that they used to give out in meetings. I got like three of them, I had like three of them balls. I had, I had, I was, I was nominated for, for, for different things. I mean, I was doing what I had to do in that school. But again, when you don't allow a person to fully control you, it's a problem. It's a problem. And I had to do what I had to do. I had to take that phone in there. And I got other videos. I got other videos. But again, that video to me stood out. You know, you don't talk to people like that. You don't treat people like that just because you have a higher position. Treat people with respect. And you will get respect. You know, don't have people coming out your office, teachers and stuff, coming out your office crying, you know, and, and frustrated and stuff like that because why how you talk to them, like like as if you are God or something. You're not God. Who are you? You human just like us. You know? And I'm glad everyone supported me on this matter. Because this is going, this has been going on for a long time. This is not the first instance that this happened with this lady. Yeah, I've been in her office, but for stupid stuff. Stupidest things. She kept looking for things, looking for things. Stupid, stupid things. You know? I've never stole from this school. I've never took nothing. I never did none of this stuff. I had the keys to this school. I was in charge of the building. You know? And as far as with the, when the fire people came in, you know, they were sitting out there for an hour. I got, I'm the one that's in control of the building. I'm the building person. If I need to let them in, that's my call. I'm in charge of the building. You get, I got the key to the building. What's the problem? In, the, in, the, in contradicting yourself, you said you was calling me on the radio at 245. But yet I left at 252. So who's lying here? So if I'm still in the building at 245 and you said you called me on the radio, then I'm supposed to have heard the radio, right? I left at 252. So there you go lying again. So again, people, you know, I hope this all this stuff all get corrected. That's all I want. Correction in all administration in Fulton County need to need to look at this and correct this matter for all administration, all of them. Because I'm pretty sure this is not only going on in this school, but other schools too. You know, learn how to talk to people. You know, it's just a, it's just a title, people. Principal is just a title. That's all it is. That's all it is. You just a title. You still work for Fulton County. You, you have a boss over you too. You know? Treat people with respect. Period. You know what I'm saying? But anyway, y'all, you know, again, you know, I'm doing my Uber thing right now. You know, it's hard work. You know what I'm saying? I have to be out there, you know, long hours or whatever. But I'm going to continue to support my family no matter what I got to do. You know what I mean? But again, y'all, you know what I'm saying? This is just a learning experience for me. I didn't know this, this video was going to be like this, but, you know, the people was talking for me. I'm, I don't have to, I'm not doing anything. The people talk. They see it. It's nothing untrue about what I posted or what I put out there. It's nothing untrue about it. Y'all see it for yourself, you know. So if y'all need to get at me for anything, y'all, you know, my email is jnut, J-N-U-T, 129 at gmail.com. Hey, get at me for anything, you know what I'm saying? Y'all want to holler at me, whatever, you know. But I'll be talking with y'all though. Peace.